This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Danielle here. So in my yard sale video, I did make a remark about Swap Meet Fashion and then I got this comment here. So was I taking a jab at Swap Meet Fashion? Yes, I was, but in a playful way. But I grew up going to Remates, Pulgas, Swap Meets, Flea Markets, all of it. So what you don't know is that these are actually the perfect places to find really cute clothes. And if you don't know about Swap Meet fashion, they just pretty much emphasize big boobs, a snatched waist, big butt, just really gives Latina mommy. So today I'm taking you guys to MacArthur Park to check out all of their Swap Meets there. But we have to get there by Metro because parking is a freaking nightmare. So let's go catch your bus. You know you've made it to MacArthur Park when you see all the rainbow umbrellas, but pretty much MacArthur Park is a public park located in the Westlake neighborhood in Los Angeles, and it houses a big population of the Latino community. Unfortunately, the park is known for violence, drug dealing, prostitution, and the unhoused, but it's also very popular for the swap meets all along South Alvarado Street. So today we're hitting up six of them, so let's get started. Actually, we're gonna start off with this vendor here who is selling really cute clothes just on the sidewalk there. But not only was she selling clothes, she was also promoting her lash business and like she kept telling me you'd look so cute with the set and I was like girl if only you knew the horrible sets I've gotten done in the past so I personally won't be getting them done so just a reminder that not only are there swap meets but there's a ton of vendors lining the sidewalks and also bring cash because most of the time they won't be accepting Venmo or PayPal or any other payment apps. Sorry for interrupting our swap meet shopping, but let's thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. If you've been looking to create a professional website, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to help build an online presence and run your business. So this is how I have my website, which is twinl.com. This is where I sell all of my dead stock and vintage clothing, including the skirt that I'm wearing right now. But they offer a ton of different tools to make the website creation process super simple. So the first one is e-commerce templates. So this is just a whole library full of different templates and layouts. All you gotta do is just choose one and from there you get to customize, choose a color scheme and text. The second tool they offer is inventory management. So if you plan to sell a high volume of items, this tool helps you keep organized and Squarespace will send you a notification anytime something is low in stock or completely out of stock. The third tool they offer is secure payments. So you're able to connect Stripe and PayPal so that way your customers can purchase items either using their credit card, PayPal or Venmo. The fourth tool they offer is a built-in mobile website. So every design automatically includes a unique mobile experience. So it's gonna match the overall style of your website. So your content is gonna look good on any screen or device. So if you want to check out Squarespace, there is a free trial that you can take advantage of at squarespace.com. And then when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash twinel to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using my code twinel. But a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Let's get back to swap meet shopping. Our first swap meet of the day is Selecto Plaza Mall. I literally pass by this place all the time when Arthur's driving, but it literally has taken me four years to finally check it out. I don't know much about this location besides the fact that they do have a lower level. So we have two floors of shopping, but as soon as you walk in, it's pretty a familiar sight with just snacks herbal teas and toiletries so it did take a minute to find the cute clothes but i did come across this midi skirt that just had flowers all over it so it was giving spring vibes and then i'm just walking around here so you guys kind of get a feel of what it looks like but for the most part all they really had were barbers so not gonna lie but the first floor was pretty empty and kind of hard to come by clothes vendors so we made it to the second floor or like the lower level and it was even worse over here i'm not sure if like businesses aren't occupying the space or whether they were just not open that day but it was again empty and very dead we did eventually come across some clothes but it was very traditional not the cutest that i would wear as like an everyday look and then we made it to this like techie area which was heaven for arthur so if you're really into rummaging through like older tech and gadgets this is perfect for you the only businesses really that were popping off with customers were the barbers everything else just looked pretty deserted so i don't know if i would totally recommend this swap meet but if you are into architecture and you're just wondering what los angeles buildings look like from the inside because i'm curious like that then i think it's worth checking out but there was this one vendor outside who did have pretty cute clothes like the silhouettes and styles were pretty but the material the material was very spandexy and stretchy, so we went inside again just to check out what else she had, and I found this black maxi skirt that I really like, so I went to go ask her the price, and she did hesitate for a minute, and then after waiting in silence for a couple of seconds, she said it was $15. 
Yeah, I got my second item. It's really loud over here. I literally just paid $15 for a skirt, but you know what? We gotta support our people, our Latino people, so it was okay. I was gonna barter, but I was like, you know what? Nah, it doesn't seem like she had very many customers, so $15. For a skirt is done. We're headed to our second swap meet and this is just like a quick example of what you see as you're walking around MacArthur Park. They just have like a whole bunch of vendors with a crap ton of stuff and major kudos to the vendors because they're usually like older people just sitting out in the sun literally all day long monday through sunday but here's our second stop i don't know what it's called but it is at the intersection of alvarado and sixth street my goal for today was to find more spring wear and colors but i was just drawn to all the black clothes like this midi skirt here i just love the pleated detail to it but it did take me another quick minute to find cute clothes especially for like women's but this was my favorite vendor in this location she just had a ton of lingerie and then at the back wall there jack and gowns but this rack in specific she had more tops and okay i'm gonna be totally honest it was kind of giving like fashion nova because it was kind of like cheaply made but i promise you you just gotta rummage until you find a really good piece arthur was so adamant on me showing off these heart detailed straps but her laundry was super good so i came across this slip that had like hearts all over it and if you're in need of socks arthur and i get all of our socks from swap meets they don't disappoint but i wasn't having the best luck with clothes so i shifted into jewelry now and i was just on the hunt for good rings and bracelets i'm not sure if i necessarily like the jewelry that they had here because it was all gold and it tends to be like mixed metals i'm more of a silver girl they also have more masculine pieces too so it's not just for women but for men as well i did eventually find a bracelet that i like but she charged me 25 dollars for it which i'm not too familiar with jewelry so i kind of thought that was high of a price and decided to pass at this point, I really had jewelry on my mind, so I really wanted either a ring or a bracelet to take home. And then I was looking at this ring, and I don't necessarily have any association with theater, but I love the masks, and the star especially, and it was sterling silver, so I tried it on, fell in love immediately, and so I asked her the price, and I thought it was gonna be on the lower end because it was like pretty messed up and bent, and she said 15. So then I was like, okay, I'll put that on hold for now. I really wanted like a plate bracelet that we all grow up wearing but i wanted one to fit my like adult wrist and didn't come across one that really fit properly so decided to just keep on looking before i made a final decision also if you fit into kids clothing don't forget about that section just because you could wear them as baby tees but one thing i did want to mention is that i've been seeing leather cowboy boots all over social media so if you're gonna buy some try the swap meets because they have some of the cutest designs and in like a variety of colors so there are these blue ones that i totally wanted we're headed to our next place and it's my favorite and honestly was a highlight of my day the Westlake theater this building oozes so much history so I had to look it up and it opened in 1926 and was designed by Richard Mortimer Bates jr. it seated nearly 2,000 people and operated as a movie theater from 1926 up until the 1960s and it wasn't until 1991 that the theater sold and the building was declared a Los Angeles historic cultural monument so it was then converted into a swap meet so we have two vendors in there now one of them is a vintage clothes seller and the other is a barber all right let's talk about the inventory and merchandise that this man had so as far as knickknacks they were just kind of sprawled out on a table and it was a little messy but it was fun to rummage through so i found that star bracelet that i kind of wanted but it was a little eroded so decided to leave it behind the clothes on the other hand was fairly neat everything was on hangers and on racks but there was like a lot of expensive stuff like this coat going for 70 bucks. I found this cat bag, which Arthur had to persuade me not to get it just because I have a whole cabinet full of bags that I don't even use. And he had something for like the whole family. There was also men's t-shirts. Arthur, this is Arthur's clip here. He found a Sanrio t-shirt that he thought would be good for like pajamas. As far as sizing, it was pretty size inclusive because I found this lace maxi skirt and it was a plus size. So was tempted to take it and tailor it, but decided just to leave it behind. I found some jorts. I wanted these so bad, but I already have a faded wash pair. So I didn't need another one in my wardrobe. I honestly should have come here for prom dresses because look at this dress that I came across 
across. So if you're needing prom dresses and you don't mind the hunt, definitely come over to Swap Meets. He also had a ton of these bustiers in the same style and color. I really wanted one for myself, but the cups were just a little too big for me. And I don't think that this color was too flattering on my skin tone just because it washes me out and like really, really makes me look naked. I did buy one item from here, so I'll show that off a little bit later. But right now, I want to show off this theater because it's so freaking cool. It's in pretty beat up shape. Like, they have a Christmas tree just dying there in the corner. But it was awesome to just take up the space because it's so huge, so detailed. And I feel like the swap me could be even better if they expanded just a bit. But I'm just not sure if the interior or if the infrastructure is able to sustain that. But definitely a place worth checking out. I'm taking y'all to my next favorite place. This wasn't inside any swap meet, but we found it on our way to the next one. And the older woman who owns this business collects a whole bunch of items and has her store filled from literal ceiling to floor. She does have a ton of carousel horses, clowns, vintage clothing, home decor, just about everything you can think of. But fair warning, she does have this case in the center of her store that is totally off limits. She doesn't sell any of it. So that's kind of why I think she's a collector. The swap meet gods are worth working in my favor today because I finally came across something that has been on my thrift list for the longest time. It's a carousel horse. It's almost life size, just bigger than like the smaller music boxes that I find. And they're asking only $200. Is it beat up? Yes, it is. But I feel like it might be really fun to like fix it up on TikTok and make it a series. But for $200, that's actually, okay, yeah, it's a lot of money, but like, I've scoured all over the internet and usually they're a good like 800 plus dollars. So I'm gonna go get some cash and grab it. Our next stop is right outside of the Westlake MacArthur Park subway station. And they always have these vendors out here with their tents. And I will admit they're the most cheap here than in the swap meets, but you're gonna be doing a lot more rummaging. So I did come across this one woman who had a table full of clothes and she had so many good brands there. So I did end up grabbing this skirt. It fits me a little oversized. So it's gonna be a little bit more low waisted on me. I found some Clio there. That is one of my favorite brands to pick up while I'm at the thrift. And then we have this neutral colored dress that is actually the brand Bisu Bisu and it's in awesome condition too. I'm not much of an accessories person but I did really think that this handbag was really cool and Arthur really wanted me to show off this Spider-Man button-up shirt. They had it in a whole bunch of different colors and still brand new with tags. <laughs> Next up is the Alvarado Plaza. This one doesn't necessarily focus in clothes like the other ones, but this one is more home decor, home furniture. But as you walk in, there is one little lingerie shop there. And I thought it was kind of cool that they had these little bloomer underwear. They're not as long as like bloomer shorts that we see that are popular right now, but I thought they were still cute, maybe a little too sexy. But as you make it down the hallway, this is what you run into. And to me, kind of gives big lots. So like I said, a lot of furniture and then more kitchenware but this place was expensive i thought 65 dollars for this really plastic cheaply made tier organizer was a little bit too much money but i thought this was really cute they had this little mini couch with hello kitty i would personally buy that for my bunnies but the clothes here was a little too modest for my liking so i walked out of this place empty-handed Definitely don't pass up on the street vendors just because they have some of the better brands at better prices. So I did find this long sleeve blouse and it was only two bucks. Oh, that one's kind of cute, huh? I love it. Yeah, let's Alright All right, y'all, we're back from MacArthur Park. I'm gonna try to keep this haul speedy just because I have a really stubborn cough right now and anytime I talk a lot, that's when it really induces me coughing. So let's get started with some jewelry. Got the ring with theater masks on it and I paid $15 for it. So the back of it does say that it's sterling, so sterling silver. And I did look up on Google whether $15 was a good price, but I saw prices between like $10 to $90. So I honestly have no idea, but I just thought it was so unique and awesome. $15 for me, since I don't wear a lot of jewelry, like I don't even have earrings on or a necklace on, I'm gonna make sure that this becomes my everyday ring. Now that it's officially spring, I do wanna start introducing more color into my wardrobe. So look at this cami that I got. I think it's so cute. So I did show it earlier, but there was this one little vendor who had a whole bunch of lingerie and she had a whole bunch of these. They were all in a size medium. So I feel like the cups fit me a little too big, but you know what? In LA, it gets so hot during the spring and summer that I get pretty desperate for cute camis like this. And look at this. I recently got some Pink Mary Jane, so 
that's gonna look freaking cute. Then I got this item here. This is the first item I've ever owned from Abercrombie & Fitch. It's a size medium, 100% wool, so it is a little bit itchy, but I plan on wearing it with a little t-shirt underneath. But I got this top from the Westlake Theater, which is, oh, such a beautiful building. It does make me kind of sad that the city doesn't do anything to preserve it or renovate it, so it's in pretty rough shape, but if you're big on architecture, it's definitely worth going to. It also kind of has like a very dark and eerie vibe to it so if you're a ghost hunter or if you're into that definitely check it out i don't know how this happened but i managed to find two tops that are both dark and very witchy vibes but let's start off with this one i only got it for two dollars and it's labeled a size small but it fits a little bit more oversized so more like a medium large it's in this nice velvet construction flare sleeves and then pay attention to this ribbon detail if this fit me properly it would look so flattering especially with the ruche bust and the princess scenes but then i got this one here which i did spend a little bit more money on four dollars more six dollars total so when i first saw it i was like oh that's definitely a costume but the more i was looking at it it doesn't have a tag but the quality is really there so i don't think it's a costume and it also has an interior shelf bra so it's pretty supportive in the bust but we have the lace-up detail i was just immediately sold on these sleeves so again look at this ribbon detail and then we have lace pointed hem cuffs. So in the clothes category, this is my favorite pickup of the day. And now let's move into skirts. So this one does fit me a little oversized. It's a size eight. So it fits me very, very low rise. So I'm probably just gonna take it in from the back, but I love this. I love the patchwork detail to it, the contrast stitching. Again, I know it's black and I just said I wanted to introduce more color, but I feel like this is gonna be a good staple piece. The last clothing item I picked up is this black lace skirt that I showed off in the video. And I feel like I spent too much money on this, to be honest. I spent $15 and my justification is that it's brand new, never has been worn. And I'm supporting a Latino vendor, but 99% of my clothes comes from thrift stores. So if a thrift store was charging $15 for this, I wouldn't even pick it up. It would stay on the rack. But also just a fair warning to those who want to check out swap meets is that I just personally get judged based off what I look like, how I sound, how I speak Spanish, Arthur because he's so white, and we are just very Americanized, and so what I've noticed is that I get upcharged a lot compared to other customers, and it's happened right in front of my face where I had to confront him and be like, hey, why are you charging me more? And I always just tell myself like, oh, I'm helping my community. These are Latino vendors that I want to support. But in the end, really, I feel rejected from my own community. So if you speak Spanish, definitely use that to your advantage. And if not, maybe just learn little phrases like hi, bye, have a good day, and your numbers. Numbers are totally important. And now to show off the last item, my favorite pickup of the day, and now my most like prized possession, Guys, it happened. I found a carousel horse and it was only $100. And look at how big it is. I honestly don't have any space to store it in my apartment right now. So it's kind of just been standing around in the way. So if you have any ideas of where I can store this, or how I should like show it off, let me know. But look at how big it is. It's not life size, but it's pretty damn big. And I know $100 is still a lot, but I have scoured all over the internet for a carousel horse. And the cheapest one I was able to find was $800. The most expensive over 10k so i feel like a hundred dollars is a pretty good deal but also swap meets are open for bartering so not every price is going to be set in stone i could have offered 80 dollars and maybe gotten that price but I felt like $100 already, such a steal. But she's also beat up quite a bit. She's cracking from all the paint. I feel like this is literally just like a piece of wood. It's a pole of wood. And so I feel like maybe I could add a ball up here. So I don't know whether it's smart to repaint it myself and make it some sort of series on TikTok and Instagram. But y'all let me know what you think. Should I keep it in its original state? or paint it. But y'all, that pretty much does it for shopping at Swap Meets in MacArthur Park. So if you wanna check them out, I'll leave, I'll try to leave all the addresses down below in the description box, but they are all along South Alvarado Street. So you can just start off at the corner and then walk down the block. But if you're not familiar with that area, I will try. I'll try my very hardest to put all the info down below in the description. And also two more things is just wear comfy shoes because you're gonna be doing a lot of walking and you'll thank me later. The second thing is bring cash. That's most important because a lot of these small vendors 
just won't be accepting credit card, Venmo, PayPal, and all those other payment apps. But hopefully this video nudges you a little bit to check out MacArthur Park and all the swap meets because Loki was kind of sad walking through all of them and it was just so empty and dead. So let's go out and support these small businesses. You're bound to find something for like the entire family, including your pets. But also a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. So if you want to check them out, visit squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash Chanel to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using my code TWINO. But as always, y'all, I do post videos at least once a week. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!